Welcome back to Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. Welcome back to the show. Today I have so more uh, social media and the airlines. This is something that uh, many people have told us that it was great, that they really, really enjoyed the KLM episode that we did and the, uh, the one that we did with uh, Southwest and Virgin and United. And uh, today I found some more great information about travel and also about social media. So I thought, well, why not do a third episode on this? But we are not only talking about airlines. We have all sorts of great resources, some very, very cool apps. Our feature presentation is going to be great. And one, uh, uh, one more surprise that I think is going to be very, very interesting for you. We are adding one more section to the show when I think that you're going to find a very interesting. And this section is going to be called High Level Business Concepts and it's going to be run by uh, Australian uh, marketing megastar James Schramko. And I'm very, very excited about that because he's going to be uh, also there. We're going to be having another very, very good guest. So as you can see, we have a lot of incredible information throughout the entire show. So let's get started with the first section of the show, which is going to be handy bookmarks. So welcome back to handy bookmarks. Today, as usual, I have five uh, different resources that I think that you're going to find very interesting. The first one is called Font Meme. And in Font Meme, uh, what you're going to be able to do is you will be able to do some really very cool logos with different kinds of fonts. The way that this works is you will just uh, go there, they have a little form, and then you will fill up the form with whatever text you want to have and it will be converting that text that you wrote there into very nice looking different fonts. So it's very, very cool and uh, obviously it's free, so it's really very cool. Uh, the next tool that I want to talk about and I think that you're going to also find it very interesting is called tools.pingdom.com and this uh, resource, it, uh, what it will do is you will just put the URL of your website and it tells you how fast uh, your website actually uh, loads. Now, it's very, very important how fast your website loads because, of course, the faster it loads, uh, the more people will enjoy it and, of course, it will also give you a big advantage on uh, the search engine results uh, with Google. So it's a very, very interesting tool. It's also for free and I'm sure that you're going to really um, find it interesting. It's in tools.pingdom.com. Now, this uh, third resource, I think it's really very uh, interesting. It's called ilovefreethings.com. And uh, what it is, is uh, all sorts of different companies, I mean, from Nabisco, from Victoria's Secret, from uh, whatever you can think of. Uh, what they do is they give samples away so that you will be able to actually test your product. So basically, all you need to do is put, put your name and you will find um, that companies are actually sending you, uh, that they are actually sending you samples so that you will be able to sample. Uh, their products so actually very very interesting and of course I mean you need to do a little bit of searching because obviously I mean some of the products that they are providing possibly they're not going to be very useful to you but they do provide a lot of stuff for free so I'm sure that you're going to really enjoy browsing that website. Um, another, uh, this is the fourth resource that I want to talk about is called awayfind.com and this is a very a useful resource and the way that this works it's a, like a little bit of a plugin that you will put into your Gmail um, um, address is also a free software and uh, for example you whenever somebody sends you an email and you want to make sure that you don't um, uh, that you're not really you know I mean that you're not going to your email checking email because of course you're work, if you're waiting for a reply or something very important is going to come you just basically tag that email with the software which is called a wayfind 
and then what they will do is they will send it either to your mobile as text or they will be sending it to another email or they will be sending it to anywhere you tell them that they that this this email is so important so that they will be able to forward forward it to you to wherever you are so you don't have to be actually as you don't have to be a slave of the computer because obviously you will be able to get this information without you really having to be really low I mean just completely locked into your computer very very useful tool the last resource that I want to talk about is called a uh, social monkey social monkey is very very useful because it will help you submit your URLs to different websites so that you will be getting backlinks on SEO backlinks are very very important because of course I mean they will be giving you credibility and uh, Google is going to look a lot better of, uh, uh, from you when they actually see that there's a lot of other websites which are pointing to your website this is um, I think there's a number of different services it starts from seven dollars nineteen dollars to all the way to forty seven dollars um, uh, or something like that and but I tell you it's very very useful and you're going to find it very very easy to use and to start uh, creating new um, uh, links towards your site. So those are the five resources that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you have enjoyed them. And now it's time that we go to the next section of the show, which is going to be our feature presentation. And now our feature presentation. Meet Mary. Mary's an entrepreneur, owns her own business, and is looking to expand and reach more clients so she can make more money. Mary already has a website in place, but she needs more visitors, more customers, and more sales. The problem is, Mary doesn't know how to massively increase exposure for her business in a short period of time and how to do it on a budget. Mary's already aware that you can reach millions of people online via social media websites like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Mary's also aware that if she could just get her website on the first page of Google when people are looking for her company's services, she would be home free. So, Mary started syndicating her blog content through her own social media websites, through her social bookmarking sites and other content distribution portals. But she's sadly not getting the results she'd hoped for. Why? Because she's only one person. Imagine having to build a castle all by yourself, one brick at a time. A pretty painful, agonizing process, wouldn't you agree? Well, what if you had 30 people helping you? What if you had 300 people helping you? What if you had 3,000 people helping you? How much faster and painless would building a castle be if you had a team of construction workers doing all the heavy lifting for you? This is exactly what TriPro can do for you and your marketing efforts. TriPro is the most innovative content syndication platform on the internet and will allow you to double or triple your traffic and customer base fast because of the Tribe concept. Instead of Mary only posting her content to her own social media and bookmarking sites and working as a one-woman show, she now is part of a unified tribe that has hundreds of other people posting her content to their social media sites. This creates a feeding frenzy of new visitors to her website and creates social chatter that Google simply can't ignore. This is what's called leverage. It saves countless hours of time. It produces 10 times the results and will allow you to get your website on the first page of Google fast. Now, instead of struggling to get new customers to her site, Mary can automate this process and let her tribe do all the heavy, tedious lifting for her as she attracts new visitors, acquires new customers, and makes more sales. Mary's happy. Are you ready to be like Mary? Experience TriPro risk-free today and get ready for a flood of new customers for your business. Today we have with us a really well-connected person. I think it's really great to have him on the show. His name is uh, Mohammed Siddiq. So, uh, Siddiq, very nice to have you on the show. Welcome to the show. It's my honor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I well, first of all, the uh, the entire show is of course sharing on uh, resources, and of course you're a very uh, resourceful person. So I mean, obviously the resources we have, you know, the websites, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but the, the, what you're a uh, specialist is basically on uh, joint ventures. So I'll just basically go very quickly to the questions. Uh, what actually makes a successful joint venture? Successful joint venture means someone, one party, a joint venture is like a meeting two different businesses make the successful transaction. On one side somebody has 
absolutely wonderful product and on the other side the other company has customers of that product the joint venture broker will kind of connect both of them together to make the success happen that's that's it okay so how would you actually know that uh, those the two people are actually the right people to actually be part of the joint venture yeah the first of all you are you when the product owner every product owner want to sell their product you ask them the right questions that's where the experience comes in you ask how good is your product where you have sold it how many people buy it and how many people returned it and ask the quality and issues and all those things we check it and then who is your ideal customer that's how you ask them who is your ideal customer they say yeah the person like making this much money and this much age factor as you we can cluster clear, clear we can define who is our ideal customer then we know as a joint venture brokers who has that kind of customers uh, like a set of customers then we go to them that i have a product owner who really match your profile for your customers and make the offer and you make offer to three of them one of them will accept it and have the transaction happen yeah if uh, uh, somebody is actually looking for uh, expanding their business and creating some joint ventures uh, how can they get in touch with you there are multiple ways they can contact me on my facebook mohammed siddiq if you search for it i should come up as a joint venture broker it's facebook.com slash siddiq fans s i d d i q u e F A N S. I'll my, visit my website sadiqm.com or also check me on Skype, sadiq30024. Fantastic. Just a very, a very last question. Um, can you tell us some of the? Uh, just give us one big uh, resource. One of the uh, because this this show is always about resources. What is one of your favorite resources that you have? Uh, that you use on the internet, even if it is not JV uh, oriented. I use a Facebook most of the time, and number two, I use a Skype, and number three, there are LinkedIn. They are they are the wonderful resources for virtually any type of thing. And I, I look for as a JVs, joint ventures, but those are you can virtually find anything if you're looking for, if you know how to look for. Fantastic, Siddiq. Thank you very much for being in the show today. It has and been my honor. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, guys. Now is now time that we go for a next section, which is going to be triple your internet intelligence. When you're a little airline from the bottom of the world, you have to throw out the marketing rulebook if you want to get noticed on the international stage. But when your new aircraft are turning heads around the world and your customer service sets the standard for the industry, you can be sure people in New Zealand hear about their national airline through PR and local media. So how do we export the Air New Zealand brand overseas? In true Kiwi style, we think differently. Instead of relying on traditional media, like much of our industry, Air New Zealand has embraced the global reach of social media and delivered a series of king hits. Our online videos have racked up millions of views and got the world's media, aviation and marketing industries talking. They grab attention, give people a laugh and play a huge role in supporting our primary brand messaging. Fit to Fly, an airline safety video starring workout legend Richard Simmons, has become a YouTube sensation and with a smart seating strategy, this high-energy extravaganza has made its way into the mainstream media worldwide. Conceived, created and launched in just four weeks, Fit to Fly's numbers keep climbing. Over two million views on YouTube and a string of YouTube honors. One million views on the Chinese equivalent, Yoku. Appearances on major mainstream websites. Nearly 125 million media impressions in the UK alone, as well as 340 million in the US, including coverage on four main TV networks. For a small airline in a country of just 4.5 million people, it represents a seemingly unbelievable degree of international reach. Like Richard, you could call our next collaboration a little unconventional. We teamed international rap superstar Snoop Dogg with our free-spirited puppet Rico to record the track Hello Sunshine. This online video may not push product or service or ticket prices, but it does sell the Air New Zealand brand personality to the world. It's big on YouTube with over half a million views and a massive level of engagement. It's earned 55 international YouTube honors, including being the number one top-ranked video in New Zealand the day after launch. It's featured on Snoop Dogg's own Facebook page, which has over 11 million fans. It's been tweeted by major TV stars like Kim Kardashian. It's been featured on TV news, hip-hop, entertainment and advertising blogs, and US magazines, and has got people talking from Heathrow to the Hollywood Hills. 
talking is what Rico loves to do most. So for his latest series of online videos, On the Sky Couch with Rico, we introduce our furry friend to international celebrities, David Hasselhoff and Lindsay Lohan. Part chat show, part therapy session, these videos, and the stars for that matter, never take themselves too seriously. So far, our Rico videos have been viewed almost 4 million times on YouTube and on Yoku in China, with incredible engagement. They've earned 78 international YouTube honors, with the Lindsay Lohan video ranking the most popular in the comedy category. And they've been covered on the world's most influential entertainment, advertising and marketing websites. It seems Rico's popularity is well and truly on the up. Just take a look at what we've achieved on Facebook. In less than a month, the winner Rico soft toy promotion saw likes on the page double to 44,000, placing Rico ahead of many other popular brands. So what else are we doing online? We're keeping our audience engaged with some of the best promotions and experiences in social media. Recently, our flying social network team have started visiting airports on the Air New Zealand network, sharing their love with our passengers, just because it's who we are. For our passengers that are more than fans, we created the friends, family and alumni of Air New Zealand. A place where we can all meet on Facebook, find old colleagues and get to know the people behind the brand. When the clock stops, we don't. We're proud to be keeping in touch with our customers 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But how do we stack up on a global scale? In passenger numbers, Air New Zealand ranks 45th in the world. But in social media, Air New Zealand is the 11th most influential brand online. In the last year, Air New Zealand's main Facebook page has had fan growth of 156%, with over 18.3 million post views, while our Twitter followership has more than doubled. Our bold experiment with social media and online video has proved that in the modern marketing world, the old rules are breaking down. Impact and reach are no longer based on how big your budget is. They're driven by personality, energy, and a commitment to doing things in a fresh and fun way. Air New Zealand's online marketing strategy is making waves around the world and has even been rewarded at the Airline Strategy Awards in London. Proof that even for a small airline from the bottom of the world, in the digital media age, the sky really is the limit. Interesting concept of what Air New Zealand is doing, right? Well, you know, one of the things that really caught my attention was the fact that I actually started looking for more and more information because you guys wanted to get more information of what airlines are doing. And it's actually quite difficult to find what airlines are doing. So uh, while I was researching, I still found some more of what um, uh, KLM is doing. So I thought, well, you know what, let me just also show this little clip on how they're explaining how they can actually use Facebook uh, with their customers. It's just about one minute and I think you're going to find it quite interesting. Have a look. Challenger Zero Bravo Charlie, turn left at high speed, left on Alpha, mm -hmm. contact ground point 75. Okay, left on the high speed, left on Alpha, and we'll call ground point 75. Watch this, 107 heavy, caution, turbulence, 1240 at 4, runway 25 right, cover takeoff. Watch 25 right, 25 right, 25 right, 25 Do you like to travel? And do you own a Facebook profile? Then we have great news for you. When you add the KLM fan page to your Facebook profile, you can enjoy looking at photos, watching videos, reading facts about aviation, and take a look at KLM miniatures. You can also literally connect to KLM, ask for help with your internet check-in, make your seat reservation, or rebook your ticket. Give your opinion on new and existing products, submit your compliments and your complaints, and make sure to be heard. And because you are a fan, you, and you only, can get special discounts and benefits. Convinced? All you have to do is connect your Facebook to the KLM Facebook fan page and you'll be able to enjoy all the privileges. Yeah. Connect with KLM on Facebook. Continuing in the travel uh, spirit, I want to also show you on our next section of the show, which is going to be one app a day keeps boredom away. I want to show you a very, very nice app that uh, Walt Disney World has actually developed. And uh, it's very, very nice. You can download it for free. And I think if you're actually going to the parks, you're going to find it incredibly useful. So let's just watch that on our next section of the show, which is going to be uh, one app a day keeps boredom away.
wish you could get the magic of the parks right at your fingertips? Well, thanks to Disney Parks and Verizon, you can. Introducing Mobile Magic, a magical app that will turn your Verizon mobile phone into a Disney Parks know-it-all. And it's super easy to use. Check this out. Say you're at the Magic Kingdom Park. Well, Mobile Magic uses the GPS in your phone, so it already knows you're there. Now, say you want to find out where your Disney character buddies are. Just touch characters. Look, Mickey's hanging out just down the way. But Mobile Magic can do way more than that. Like check wait times and fast pass return times for the park you're in. Mobile Magic can help you with a lot of the things you want to do. Looking for the perfect place to eat? Feel like grabbing some ice cream? Do you need shopping info? Just touch a button. And like magic, you got it. But it gets even cooler than that. With Mobile Magic, you can play interactive trivia games against guests also in the park you're in. Even compare your score with other people playing on the real-time scoreboard. And getting Mobile Magic is a piece of cake, too. Just text MAGIC to 2777 to purchase the application on your Verizon wireless phone. And anyone with a web-enabled mobile phone can access select park information at Disney Parks mobile website, m.disneyworld.com and m.disneyland.com. The very last clip that I want to show to you is what actually American Airlines is doing. I mean, American Airlines is known for not being extremely uh, creative, but I actually thought that this uh, advertising that they were using for their new app in order for you to download the new app is actually quite nice. So just have a look. Introducing the new American Airlines app for the iPhone. Tap and swipe your way through the app that's perfect for flying through airports. Install the app now for your chance to win 1 million Advantage miles. I am absolutely delighted to right now show for the first time on this show the next section which is going to be high level business concepts and it's going to be presented by uh, my friend James Schramko which is a top uh, marketer from Australia. And uh, I mean, I was very, very happy when I actually approached him and he told me that he was very happy to be a contributor for the show. So now he's going to be the first person on the show to actually have a whole section. And this section, I think you're going to find very, very interesting. So without further ado, let's go with James to high level business concepts. James Schramko with the Silver Circle News Update. We talk about high-level business concepts in this mastermind and I think you'll enjoy today's tips. The first one I want to talk about is Tuckman's Group Dynamics, which can be applied for decision-making and also really handy if you run a forum or build some sort of community around your product or business. There are four stages, but he later added a fifth. The first stage is forming, and that's when a group comes together the next stage is storming and that's when people find where they fit within the group and they start to drop the politeness and they just start to put their ideas out there and find their level. Then there is the norming phase where things really click and uh, things are starting to flow and that's sort of normalizing. And then the fourth stage is performing and that's when the group and the decisions really start to power ahead and they get that synergy of the group. The fifth stage that he later added is called mourning. And that's like the leaving of a group. So when the group uh, dissipates or finishes, then they all go off and, and the, the group comes to an end. And that can be a sad time. Hopefully, if you've got a community, it's never going to get to that fifth stage. Another concept that we talked about this week is the concept of planting seeds and harvesting seeds. So in business, if you have a sales cycle, it really pays to be aware of the fact that when you're seed planting or prospecting or getting customers, then you might be spending a lot of energy on that and you may not be harvesting. And then the harvesting time will be like the delivering of the services. In general, it's actually easier to sell things than it is to deliver them. So you have to be conscious that when it's time to deliver stuff, if you spend all your time delivering services, 
you may not be planting enough seeds for the next crop. So when you get a little more advanced and, and better with your cycle times, you can set up a field next door and actually have seeds planted while you're harvesting so that you can plant and harvest and speed up that cycle and build your business stronger and more consistent. So that's an advanced strategy, but just keep in mind that nature teaches a lot about this. You're either planting seeds or harvesting. It's very hard to do both at the same time unless you have a team or a leverage system to take advantage of that. Another topic we discussed was opt-ins for a newsletter or a report and what I found with my own marketing is when you offer a free report a lot of people will give you their secondary email address get the report and then never open another email again my preferred strategy now is to offer a news or educational series because that is an ongoing relationship and you'll generally get a better higher level of email you may get less people opt-in the bait may not be as attractive but they will open the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh email and now you have a chance to build a real relationship. My final tip is a copywriting tip that I got from Drayton Bird lately and he's a real genius when it comes to copywriting but he said some of the most important elements you can put in your sales copy are one, appeal to greed. So people are by nature very greedy so if you can appeal to people's greed that will help you sell more. And secondly, is use flattery. If you can flatter your customer, they respond really well to that. Well, this pretty much wraps it up for the day. Uh, once again, this is Ernesto Verdugo, and this is Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules.